The OSI models have been explained many, many, many times in the past, but not with this level of clarity. The OSI model has seven layers, and we're going to trace how an HTTP request travels through each one. Think of it like a letter getting wrapped in envelopes, each with different information, from your browser to a web server and back. Let's see what happens at each layer. Let's start with our example. You're browsing example.com. At layer seven, your browser creates an HTTP request, get index.html. This is the actual data you want to send, pure application stuff. It's like writing a letter saying, please send me the homepage. Now layer six steps in. This is where things get secure. It wraps your HTTP request in SSL TLS encryption, like putting your letter in a locked box. Layer five is all about keeping track of your conversation. It adds a session ID so the server knows it's still talking to you, handles authentication, and manages timeouts. Now we get to the networking layers. Layer four wraps everything in TCP for reliable delivery. It adds source port 54321, destination port 443 for HTTPS, and sequence numbers. Layer three adds IP routing info your IP 192.168.1.100 to the server's IP 93.184.216.34. Layer 2 adds MAC addressing for local network delivery. Finally, Layer 1 converts everything to electrical signals that travel through your Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi radio waves. It travels across the internet through routers that read Layer 3, switches that read Layer 2, and finally reaches the web server. The web server receives your packet and processes it in reverse order. Layer 1 converts electrical signals back to data. Layer 2 removes MAC headers. Layer 3 removes IP headers. Layer 4 removes TCP headers. Layer 5 manages the session. Layer 6 decrypts the SSL. And finally, Layer 7 processes your HTTP request and sends back the web page. Understanding this layered approach is super important for system design. Load balancers operate at different layers. 